Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you some additional steps in order to farm the Bera chain airdrops. So before we start the video, please don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow. And I have made few videos in the past uh, as to how you can go ahead and farm the Bera chain tokens. And I will leave the links of those YouTube videos in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and check it. Now before we move on to Bera chain airdrop farming, uh, uh, there was this giveaway on my Twitter page over here. As you can see, uh, I'm giving away 10 years tokens. And uh, before I forget, uh, let me go ahead and finish this one. So the winner is Murad. Uh, so he has been randomly picked from the picker over here. And I will go ahead and send 10 years tokens to him. So congrats Murad, if you are watching this video. Then I will simply go ahead and paste it over here and click on send. So it's done. Uh, I have sent uh, this 10 years tokens. And there would be more giveaways that would be coming in the future. So stay tuned and uh, if you want to go ahead and follow my Twitter page, you can go ahead and follow my Twitter page. Links in the description. So. The next step uh, that you can do for Bera Chain airdrop farming is now basically you can get some testnet tokens on RTO faucet Bera Chain and also on Quick Node. So you will be getting like 0.1 uh, Bera Chain tokens over here and 0.2 from Quick Node. Now once you have Bera Chain tokens, uh, there is a new quest that has been added over here. So if you go in view quest over here, there is something called as a slumber party and the requirement is basically you will need to have a verified collection profile now as you can see there is my referral link over here you can use my referral link all you can do is basically you can copy and paste it from the description and as you can see if you use my referral code uh, you can complete the quest and enjoy the benefits now how you can use this referral code is basically once you copy this referral code you can go to collection over here and paste it over here and click on redeem code then you would be able to go ahead and redeem the code over here. Now if you haven't uh, minted this Uga Booga ticket, you can go ahead and mint one for only 4.2 honey. And I have made a separate video as to how you can go ahead and do it. Now there is this new NFT collection over here which is mintaura.io and basically you will need to complete some task in order to go ahead and mint this NFT. Now I am not uh, sure that you would be able to mint this NFT uh, for now because if I go ahead and open this over here as you can see the total supply is like uh, 749 and uh, three hours back the last token was minted so I'm not sure whether you would be able to go ahead and mint it but you can still go ahead and try it like you simply have to follow some basic steps over here like follow them on Twitter join their discord and retweet so yeah, the, you can go ahead and check this one. Now, basically you can check all the transactions on RTO testnet. Uh, just uh, connect your wallet once on this RTO testnet and maybe you can scroll through some transactions over here. Although I mean, uh, I don't think it will help much, but you may never know. Uh, now the next thing that you will need to do is uh, you have to go to each scan over here and uh, over here you will need to connect your wallet or maybe sign up with uh, Google but I would suggest is you go ahead and connect your wallet uh, of MetaMask maybe on the Bera chain network and what you can do is basically you will need to go ahead and uh, use the password as Uga Booga and uh, then once you do that you have to sign the transaction from the Bera chain on the each sign and just go ahead and complete it and if you want to uh, like upload uh, uh, some of your own signatures over here you can go ahead and do it so and the next thing is basically you can go to oxhoneyjar.xyz over here and then there are some nft collections over here now this one are expensive to be honest if you want to go ahead and mint it for example i have changed this to eth network and if i click on approve over here and if i click on next over here uh, basically we will need to get some OHM tokens so if I go back over here and get some OHM basically we will need to swap some uh, ETH for OHM which is expensive and in order to mint this NFT there would be a cost involved so 
I'm not sure about this because I haven't done it. But uh, if we go ahead and check the OpenSea network over here, as you can see, the base price for this is close to like 0.1 ETH. And I think this is on the RB network, uh, RB ETH network. So this is a bit expensive to be honest. And if we go down and check the Miladis and Beras over here. And if we go ahead and check this mint as well. As you can see the flow price for this is close to 0.06 ETH. So these are some of the steps uh, basically that you can do in order to farm the Bera chain airdrop and as an when uh, some new updates will come with regards to a, a Bera chain airdrop I will let you know. So this is all for this video and in case if you have any doubts and questions please feel free to leave a comment. I would be more than happy to help you. Hope you like my video. Thank you for watching.